Hi, I'm Jim Dombrowski. I'm the illustrator for The Adventures of Lily and Ava. I've been in the publishing business for more than 25 years illustrating, and what we've got here is a wonderful new book project, and I'd like to show you some of the samples and how we the got to The first thing we point. do is start with a sketch. So what I do is I read the work that the author gave me, and I'll, I'll, I'll work out some sketches, and then I'll scan them in, and I'll send them to him, and then he'll, he'll look at them and approve them, or we'll make changes. And once I get the approval, what I'll do is I'll actually scan these in on the scanner, and then I'll, I'll move them, we'll move to the digital phase. And so once they're scanned in, I move them into a software program called Adobe Illustrator. And what you see here is the scanned image of the, of the, of the hand-drawn art. And then as the process begins, what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll begin to apply digital colors in it. So the, I'm in Adobe Illustrator right now, and what you're seeing here are the, are the different layers that, that, that takes to compose this image. And so there's like about 18 illustrations that were done for, for this. And so for each of the 18 pages, this is what we've done. And uh, after this is, after the, the, the artwork is done in Adobe Illustrator, the next thing we do is we take all of these files and we move each individual file into Adobe InDesign. And that's where we This is an example of how uh, a character is created. To the right here, you can see how the sketch has been done. And it's been scanned in and it's placed in the background. And now this is, this is the actual live uh, page in Adobe Illustrator. And this will eventually disappear. So I'm just using that as my template to get started. I've already started to begin the character, and I'll start to add some of the colors. And what I've got here off to the right are some swatch uh, colors, and uh, I'll show you how I'll add like a flesh tone to it. And then here's a color for her dress. As you move forward on the pages, I'll begin to keep the same color palette, and then I'll begin to reuse them again. And for future books, I'll have this palette already done, so I'll, I'll know ahead of time what color uh, the dresses are going to be or what color the characters are going to be like for their hair and that so but this this is essentially how the overall process is done to, to, to create each page